Excel Aerospace went to tooling supplier Goering with a very familiar problem. They were looking to reduce cost per part, they were looking to increase tool life and ultimately improve surface finish as well. It's a very familiar problem to Goering, but the tool they selected for the job may surprise you. Let's go inside and learn some more. Dan, can you tell me a little bit about Excel Aerospace, please? Certainly. So here at Excel, we believe in delivering excellence to our customers. We, we know that the differentiator that we offer is very much us and the service that we provide. As well as the obvious depth and breadth of the technical capabilities that the teams possess, it's very much about the relationships that we have, whether those relationships be internally as teams and the way that we function, or with our valued customers, or in this case, with our suppliers. And what technology do you have on site? We have a range of different processes and different capabilities. We are a machining business, doing everything from seven axis turning to five axis milling. Uh, but we also do fine limit sheet metal work for complex forms, uh, medium to low volume, a range of pressings and also a proprietary range of clips and leads ancillary parts for aircraft. And you mentioned suppliers. Today I'm here on behalf of Goering. How have they helped the business of late? So we had one particular tool that uh, is used on an investment casting destined for the 787 platform. Uh, we found that the sharpness of that tool was of particular, uh, particular value to the final, final part geometry, making tool wear incredibly important. Um, that, pushed, that meant that actually the tool was quite costly because it was a special form tool and we were having to replace it very frequently. So as part of our continuous improvement and uh, cost reduction program that we go through including tooling standardization this was focused as a as a high spend item and what could we do to try and improve it we then went out to a several suppliers um, and asked for their support and their opinions and their solutions and we found Goering by by far the most responsive the most reactive and also so the fastest and they the the end solution giving us a tool that has given us very very good life but also cycle time improvements. So Goering have been invited into Excel Aerospace with a, a common problem, trying to increase tool life, increase throughput of the machine. But your solution is anything but typical, so maybe you can tell us a little bit more. Yeah, we were given the opportunity by Excel to come in and, and have a look at a challenging, challenging job for them. Um, the problem we had, the job, um, the long running job for them, um, the time it was taken to do the job and the setup itself wasn't that stable. So um, we came in and had a look at it and we, we came up with a solution which today we think they're happy with. Okay. And tell us about the solution. I know it's heavily involved in additive manufacturing. Yeah, basically uh, it's a, a fairly newish application that we can offer customers, uh, 3D printing of tools in metal. Um, so with the applications that we would looked at already, uh, we thought it would be good to bring it to Excel uh, to see if it would work with a challenging job. And uh, we offered a, a 3D PCD tips uh, printed tool uh, and we offered that to them uh, first and they were happy for us to, to go further. And previously they were using a carbide solution, so why is this better than a, an indexable method? Well, it, they were using a carbide indexable tool and the tool life was, was very low because the part they were machining was a high silicon, 9% silicon aluminium. Um, so they were having a lot of wear. They were only getting about 10 parts per insert change. So um, with the PCD inserts on the printed tool, um, we actually managed to exceed nearly 300 parts. Um, so again, reducing the the time it takes to change the tool, change the inserts um, and also by going to a PCD insert we managed to increase um, the, cycle t uh, the cycle time speeds and feeds so reducing the, the cycle time itself. I know the savings just on this job alone uh, it's, been, it's been thousands of pounds but in terms of calculating the tool life there's obviously the, there's the, uh, the tool life itself but then there's less downtime and things like this isn't there? Exactly right and the other benefit we found with the the printed tools, um, the time it takes to make the tool is a lot quicker than producing a, a solid carbide PCD tool. Um, we can actually produce the tool within days if, if required. Um, with making a solid carbide body, there's a lot more work involved and it just takes time. 
in this job, there's two tools on, on this job. Uh, it's fair to say you're going to roll this out now. Excel aren't the only people you know, adopting this technology by your guru. Are you going to roll this out across the country? Yeah, uh, Excel have given us the opportunity to look at other tools for them. We've looked at two tools so far and they're both running really well. Um, so they've now given us the opportunity to look at other avenues uh, and try and use similar tools. And the, the additive manufacturing process itself, you know, how, how does that work? Well, what we do, we design a tool, we do a drawing, um, and from that we can actually produce um, a 3D plastic printed tool, which I have here, so we can actually send that down to the customer, or we can take it into the customer, just, just to prove that there's no collisions on the machine. Uh, if the customer's happy with that, then uh, we can then make a printed tool in uh, steel, um, and then from there, we're not, we know we're not making a, a, a steel tool that's going to be wasted or it has to be modified. And there's no loss of integrity on the, on, the, on the tool itself. Obviously, if you took a section, this is going to be honeycombs, but there's no problems whatsoever. No, I mean, we're still going through the learning curve, but every tool we've made so far, it's been a, a success. Um, you, like you said, because you have the honeycomb uh, cross-section inside the tool, the tool actually feels a lot lighter than a, a solid tool. But as to date, we've never had any issues with it. Um, the, the other main benefit is, is when you 3D print the tool, um, you can actually have the current holes that the customer requires through on his tool. You can have the current holes coming out in any exit, any shape, any form, um, where you can't actually physically produce that with a solid carbide tool. And if I was to come back here in two, three years' time, how is the business going to look? How are you going to evolve? What's next? Well, with the current pandemic, that's a, that's a, that has become quite a difficult question to answer. But, but our strategy remains the same. Our strategy is to uh, position ourselves as a big business feel within a small business. And that's what our customers find attractive. And it's also to find niche challenges within their supply chains that we can assist with if there is a particular product line. And we've done this very well with several of our customers so far. So I, I can't go into too much detail as to what those product lines might be but it's very much to support our customers around specialist challenges that they find within, within the current supply chain.